Word on the street. After Black Youngster had a crazy performance with Yo Gotti at the 42 Doug homecoming concert, he decided to get drunk backstage while turning up with the whole CMG artists. Check this out. I can't scratch it off me because it's in me. Bitch. This is in you, not on you, you bitch. Yeah, man. What we doing? All the time. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Throw back, throw back. Ooh. Right now, a lot of crazy rumors flying around the internet is saying that Black Youngsta getting drunk after his performance with Yo Gotti is a sign of depression following the sudden demise of Big Juk. But in terms of Yo Gotti, showing zero emotions amidst the whole situation is making the fans also look at him like he already knows what and who killed Big Juk since Juk made a suspicious post on IG before his sudden death. Fans are also saying that Big Juk could have told Yo Gotti, who was planning to snake him, since he already knows that someone in CMG was plotting against him before he was killed. A lot of street ninjas are also assuming that Yo Gotti might have sacrificed Big Juk to gain more fame, power, and money. Now the street saying Black Youngsta, losing his two brothers in the midst of this young Dolph beef in Memphis, made him care less about Big Juk's death because he already knows what time it is. But I want y'all to understand that CMG can't be able to strike back right now because the street is already hot. The feds are also watching and waiting for them to make a move. But Yo Gotti understands the game. That's why he's not even talking about the situation at all. That's why he looks like he doesn't care or show any emotions at the moment. But Black Youngsta refusing to send out condolences message like other CMG artists did on the internet when Big Juk died made a lot of people to look at him like he's no more rocking with Simj or Yo Gotti. But I think that's why he had to perform with Yo Gotti at the 42 Doug homecoming concert to send a clear message that he's still rocking with CMG. Black Youngster probably going through a lot in silence same with Yo Gotti, as a real street ninja, you're not supposed to bring street business on the internet or talk about your next move or what you plan on doing to your ops, because that will only get you locked up for the rest of your life. Let's assume Yo Gotti and CMG are making plans to strike back for Big Juk death, they probably are not going to make any move anytime soon, because that will only get them indicted and feds coming after all of them. That's why Back Youngsta was not able to strike back after the death of his own brother in Memphis last year. Although it wasn't made public if the dude who took out Black Youngsta brother was later arrested or not. But we remember Youngsta sent out serious threats to his brother's killer on the internet, and we heard nothing about it since then, because he knows the feds are still watching him closely. So he needed to be extra careful out here. I want to know what you guys think about this whole situation with Big Juk losing his life over young Dolph Beef. And drop those dolphin emojis under the comment section. Let me know if you're rocking with young Dolph or CMG. But remember this video is for entertainment and educational purposes. So everything is allegedly. Don't forget to smash the like button. It helps the algorithm to recommend the video to more people. If you're new to the channel, Please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and catch you guys later. Hey Detroit, I represent real buck boys. Real street niggas all around the world. Then we never fall. We never bend. We never tell. We own the hustle. And we only believe in loyalty, nigga. That's life, death, and after. Let's go, nigga. Let's get it. Hey, 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 hey.
Aqui, we stand on one and we keep winning. Don't talk shit and don't hate us, nigga. Let's go. Yeah.